There are nations to cover. The earth has to feel the impact of the living waters. Because until the glory of God covers the earth as the waters cover the sea, until the gospel of the kingdom is preached all over the earth, then Jesus will come. You see, there are many things that is holding him up. Part of it is the mandate that is hanging on us. We are that generation. See, I made a vow with my life. There is no reason why I'm here. I call my people. I say, what do you think God will take from me? And then it will be the reason why I will give up. My life is offered on the altar. When you begin to live that kind of life, there is no way God can use you. See, listen to me. When you live that kind of life, God cannot move in your vicinity and not include you. See, let me tell you, there is a kind of life you will live and God is moving and those men are not there. Just know it's a fake move that God has not really come. When God comes, there are, there are people you must see. Even if they are Jerusalem, God will import them from Jerusalem church to Antioch because there is a new move, sir. And those new move, there are functionaries, there are men that must participate. If you like, let them be in Brazil, it doesn't matter. It depends when God wants to move, He will ferry them by His hand. In fact, sometimes they won't know why they are there until they are in the midst of the move. Then they will suddenly realize the hand of God because there are many things God will not explain to you so that you will not add your own wisdom. It is when you now find yourself in the middle. Just as you surrendered and yielded to the Holy Ghost the first time, you begin to yield to him and then you begin to match, begin to match, begin to match. Because when Barnabas appeared, his fundamental job was to take Paul and introduce him to the church. Because the chaos and the persecution that came was as a result of the fact that Stephen died. And you remember the story of Stephen. How many of you remember? When Stephen died, there was a young man on his feet was dropped the clothes of the young man that stoned Stephen. That was the same young man. Before we go to chapter 11, the young man have encountered Jesus. And when Jesus appeared to him, he said, Lord, who are thou? Because what he saw was the sign of the shining face. Because when Stephen was about to die, he looked up and saw the great one sitting upon his seat. And he said, have mercy on them, for they don't know what they do. And then his face shined like the face of the angel. That is actually one of the signs of the Messiah. So when Paul saw it, he was shocked. So when he was going to Damascus and he saw the same thing shine, he remembered that he had seen it in somewhere. So he was able to relate it to the fact that there must be something supernatural and divine that was happening. And that was how God conscripted that mighty vessel. But he was still an outcast. He was still at Tarsus. He was wondering if it is possible that God will include him in this move. So we needed a man. A man that has been with them for long. To bring him in. Take him by hand. And introduce him to the church. That was what the scripture was saying in chapter 11. That, that Barnabas came and picked he picked Saul who is now Paul by the hand and brought him to the church that was at Antioch and he was such a man of stature that when he brought him nobody questioned him <laughs> oh my god I'm feeling my wings now see let me tell you ah you don't be normal 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 i'm feeling my wings now jesus she hambra kuba hasata bahaka kamre de bene kumbrata hasakam betalia shakam bekuta kabahata lemento katabaha I don't have time but in the next how many minutes do i have now is it up to 10. let me use 10 so that i will clear out of the way so that the men will arrive have you read the book of psalms when the scripture said lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and a question was asked who is the man that is demanding that the gates be open see let me tell you there are men 
people like us, there are gates that answer to our names. So sometimes we appear at those gates and those gates that answer to our names open. So a question was asked, that personality that came and they asked him a question, they said, who is the one that is asking for these gates to open? And they checked his name. They said, the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. The King of glory. And then Potter's gates began to open. See, there are reasons that men will not enter. They say certain gates you are open to them. And I trust God that today the baptizer grace will be available in the house. So that as a result of that, grace will be open to men in the spirit. Kakakaya, Kakakakua, Sakakaya, Kakua. 